Grace and mercy and peace belong to you from God our Father and from our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. When someone feels as though the whole world is against them, sometimes that person can be labeled paranoid. But then there's the case of King David, our fellow believer from the Old Testament, where there were moments in his life when it did seem as if the whole world was against him. In the portion of God's Word that you and I are reading this week, as we as a congregational family continue to work our way throughout Scripture in more or less uh, chronic, chronological order, we are at a point in, in David's life in, where the, the, the present king, King Saul, is so seized with, with jealousy and, and spilling over into hatred over against David that he is determined to kill David, and since he is the king, he happens to have an entire army at his disposal. And so it's during one of these moments, and this went on for, the, the estimate is probably about seven years when, when uh, David had to be uh, chased by King Saul and, and his army. And so this was one of those moments. And so how does David respond when it seems as though all the forces that he can see are against him? He praises the Lord. He looks to his fortress. He looks to his Savior God. Psalm 59 is one of the psalms that David composed. Uh, during this period, during one of these very intensive, fearful times. And so he takes a moment to praise his Lord, to look to him as the one who is his fortress, the one whose love for him never fails. And of course, David has his faith rooted in his Savior God because of the message of the gospel, of the promise that uh, one day, at just the right time, God would come to this earth and, and rescue David and, and all of us from the curse of our sin. And because this is the God that David trusted, he knew that in times of extreme peril, he could continue to praise his Lord because the Lord who promises to wash us clean of our every sin is the same one who promises to surround us in his grace and to carry us through every difficult moment. The same is true for you and me. There can be moments when through circumstance and, and, and the snowballing effect of, of what can often happen to you and me at various times in a broken world, we may feel as if the whole world is against us. When we feel that pressure, you and I, like David, can take a moment to praise our Lord, to express our trust in him, and to remember that when we are resting in him, our all-powerful God who washes us clean and makes us his own, will watch over us, and all will yet be well. God's word before us is the final verse of a Psalm of David, written during this stressful time, Psalm 59. O oh, my strength, I sing praise to you, you, O oh God are my fortress, my loving God. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, 
forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.